Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a good looking puzzle. This one is by Will Power. It is four to one. Um, not necessarily sure what the, uh, the the thought of the title is there, but maybe we'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, let's see what the rules are and see what we can get into this thing. So there's some interesting little rule here. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. Now we have Dutch Whispers Plus. Now I feel like I've done this rule set once before, but I just cannot remember if I if it's been done or not. I just I feel like I've done it, but I just, again can't pull the memory into my brain at the second. But anyway. The point of Dutch Whispers Plus is that numbers on red lines are exactly four apart from their neighbors online. So unlike normal Dutch Whispers where it has to at least be four, these are four, period. So if this was a two, this would be a six. End of sentence. So uh, then we have Kropke pairs. So numbers with a white dot between them are consecutive and not all possible dots are given. So of course, all of these white dots will be in that way. And then the killer cage. So numbers in the cage sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So these guys add to 15. And those are the rules. So nothing crazy, just a little tweak on the Dutch whispers there with the uh, making it exactly. But that said, links in the description below. Let's get at it. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. So I think we're going to start on our 15 because it has to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And these are going to have to be a 1, 5 pair because it's the only two groups of digits that can be exactly four apart from each other. Those can't be 1s and 5s. Uh, neither one of you can be 3 because of the crop keys. So you are. That means you are either 6 or 8 because, again, they have to be exactly 4. And you are six or eight. Do we start propagating this all along this? Because I think once we start getting to a certain point, it's going to just be not worth putting digits in. Let's see what these are real quick first. Five, seven, or nine. The same is going to be here. If we think about five, this could be one or nine. If it's seven, it would be a three. If it's nine, it would be five. That's just too many options. I don't really want to go down that line. And keep rolling with that. There's something else in here we can probably work with, like there's sevens and nines down here. Whether that's massively useful. Uh, what about these guys? Didn't really notice this uh, L shape, Dutch Whisper Plus grouping. Now, does that tell us this has to be a one five nine? Yeah, it does. Because how else would you ever make this work? Now, usually in Dutch Whispers, if you have a triangle set up that forces the 159. Um, but in this instance, because they have to exactly be uh, four apart, there's no other way to work this. So if you, let's say you put a two in here, well, you can put a six, but then where do you go from there? You can't go anywhere. The same is going to be true for any other set of, this is a 159. So let's put those in and think about how they could, yeah, this one's always going to be the five, right? Because what would happen if you didn't put a 5 here? We well, could put a 1, you could put a 5 here, but then you have a 1, 9 pair next to each other. That doesn't work. If you put the 9s, the exact, yeah, these are the 5s. Okay, good. Well, that's something to get moving on, because I think, yeah, that's going to come back here and give us these guys. And then this will be the 8, this will be the 6. This is now going to start removing some options. So there's that. The 1 comes back and gives us the 9 and the 1. Now the 9 has to go with an 8. This could be 7 or 9. The 5 has to go with 4 and 6. This 6 says you are a 4. Uh, other than that, don't know that we have anything else there we can work with. This will be a 6, 7, 9. And this one's not the 9. Now do we start going back to our groupings here? Because if this is a five, this could be a one or a nine still. And the one and nine are both plausible because these could still be twos and eights. Seven would just have to go with the three. But again, the three is five, so that goes with two. So I don't like that. What about the seven, nine? Because at least these have only two options because the nine says five, the seven would say three. I don't think that's going to get us where we want to go, though, because we still have 
twos and fours and sixes that could go here. And unless there's something correlating between them, which there isn't, it doesn't look like that's going to take us where we want to go. Okay, so what else can we do? We have Sudoku we can think about, because none of these are eights. One of these is. Is there a negative constraint to that? <clears throat> Mm. Not that I can see. You either, I don't think. What about the ones then? One of these is a one. Well, you can't be a one because this would have to be a five and it can't be. And you can't be either. Same thing. This would have to be a, you are a one. Okay. Don't think we can take that much further though. And twos, not really threes. I guess we know one of these is, which means one of these is. Does that tell us anything over here? Because a three would have to pair with a seven on the line. And either a two or a four with the crop keys, but those are all possible options still as well. One of these two is a four though, which means you're not, I guess. Still doesn't resolve this. I guess what it does, at least it starts to narrow this down. So this could either be a six, or this is a six two pair. Well, that's better, right? Yeah, because if it's a two, six is four away. If it's a six, two is four away. That means this is one, three, five, or seven. That is horrible. And it well, we can say this isn't a three, actually. No, we can't. I was doing my math. I was thinking about five again for some reason. Yeah, that doesn't... We can't say anything about this as far as I can tell. Okay. Um, we still don't have any restriction here, so I'm going to try to find something else to work with. We did ones. We did twos and threes and fours. Or we can't ever put a four in any of those, so I guess... Oh, and this this is a four. Yeah, because we can never put a four next to any of these digits, so that is a four. Uh, I think that's about as far as that goes, though. Let's think about the fives, maybe? Mm. I guess you can't be a five because you can't be a 1 or a 9, but you could be, because you could be a 9 with an... And I guess it doesn't work, because if you think about what would have to go here, if this is a 5, this has to be a 9, because it can't be a 1, then this would have to be an 8, but the 8 is not a valid uh, digit to go with the 5 or the 7. So that's not a... So one of these two is a 5. If that's the case... Well, first off, you can't put a 7 on it, but this guy is a three, which means you are two, six. You're not three or a one. The three says you are the seven. Let's go back to this thought process again. If one of these is a five, the other one has to be a one or a nine, so you can't be a seven, so this is the five. This has to be one or a nine, which means this is two or eight. If it's two, this is six. If it's eight, this is a four. It can't be a four. This is two and six and one. That forces the nine and the one. That forces a seven. Okay. Can we think about what you are? Because we have some limitations here, right? Uh, three and seven. Are those the only possibilities? Yeah, because the eight and nine staring at it. So if it's a three, this, well, this just is a three, seven pair again then, because the three and seven are the four apart from each other. Okay, does it say anything? Well, we have to put a one in this column. Can't go in any of these, so it goes here. We have to put a nine in this column, has to go here. So what are you two digits then? Two and eight, it looks like. Okay, put those in. Uh, anything else? Fours, no, ones. One of these is a one. Fives, no, nines, n oh, well, one, this is a one nine pair. Yeah. Ones and nines. 
What are these two then? Five and four? We can do that. Four and five. Um, we need a seven in one of these two. We need a two in one of these two. Three in any of them. Eight in any of them. Okay, that's not going to get us any further. Let's try to find something else. You can't be a seven because of you. There's got to be something else in here. Unless we go through our ones again. You can't be a one, so one of you is. I guess that gives us an X-Wing on ones. And it gives us a one, which means you are a five. That's a one, you are a two. If you are two, you are a six. You are then a five, you are a nine. Okay. Well, that worked out nicely. What are you three dudes, maybe? We need a two here. And then this will be a three, seven pair. These then have to be that eight, nine. We could have put that in earlier as well, but uh, I guess that means one of these two is the eight. Okay, what else can we now say? This is a four, six pair, and this is a three, seven pair. We can do that. This is the three, this is the seven. That means you're an eight or a nine. You guys have to be sevens, eights, and nines, and seven can't go here. It's here. This is an eight or a nine. Okay. Let's keep rolling. This nine says you are six, seven, and nine, which means four and six. Now we know what this digit is. It's a two. These are three, four, and eight. And which ones go on here? Has to be the four, eight pair. You are the three. You have to be the eight to go with the nine. You have to be the four. All right. Got that done. What about these guys? They are from three, seven, and eight. Eh, wait. One. No, the seven. Goodness gracious. Use your eyeballs, people. That's a three. That's a seven. This is a one, eight. That's what I was hoping to get my brain to process properly. Uh, can we work out what these three are in any kind of useful way? Yes, we can. Where does the six go? That then means this is a four, seven pair, which will at least set up this to say you are the seven, you are the two, and you guys must be a three, eight. Okay. What do we got left over? You are the three. I guess we're probably just gonna have to run into Sudoku because I don't think there's anything else actually left on the board. We think about these guys real quick. We need a four somewhere. Eh, we need a five somewhere. Huh. Need a six somewhere. Huh. Need a eight and a nine. No, there's not enough info there, I don't think. Okay, let's try to find something else where we have some better work. We, maybe let's go in this direction. Two, three, six, and eight. You're not two or six. You're not two or three. Not as good as I hoped it would be. Yeah, we have used all of our clues, so we are at Sudoku. So let's think about what these guys are, I guess, and we'll just go through the numbers. Three, four, five, and eight. You're not four, you're not four or five, you're not three. That's actually, that gave us a three eight pair. Did I do that correctly? Let's make sure that's right. Two, three, six, and eight. This can't be two, six, so it is three or eight. Three, four, five, three, four, five, and eight. No. I pushed the wrong button. There's a four down here still. Three, four, five, eight. Yeah. Okay. I must have accidentally had these both selected when I, when I room the four from there. Okay. Well, that's not getting us anywhere. Let's go more to the traditional Sudoku then maybe. Yeah. This is a two. Just didn't see that guy. This is the eight and the two. That should have been all the twos. Yeah, let's look at the eights again now. We still have some work that needs to be done there, so that's not really getting us. Okay, 
I said twos are done. Let's see if our threes are in any way usable. One of those two. What about them fours? Doesn't look like it. How about the fives? One of those two, one of those two. Sixes? One of those two. Oh, it's the six. This is a six. I think that finishes our six then once we put this guy in here, which does, and it gives us that three, which then we can come back and say what these are. Eight, four. Uh, you are the five. You are the three. Okay, good. That eight's going to tell us the one and the eight, which is going to tell us the nine and the one, and the nine and the eight, and the nine and the eight. And we can come back over here as well. Three, eight. Perfect. Now we can finish these guys off. This is a four, seven pair. Can't be seven. Four, seven, four. And just go down the line what these guys are. This is nine. This is seven. This is five. There we go. You saw the puzzle. Solution is correct. So we got through it. Um, did pretty good there. Not crazy uh, difficult there. So uh, really just had to find the right spots. Of course, this 15 is where you got going and then had to realize the uh, the grouping here on this Dutch Whisper Plus. And then from there, everything just started to work itself out. So really fun puzzle as usual from Willpower. So I hope you all enjoyed that one and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.